Hey, what is going on everybody? Ah, to hit what I have for you all today is going to be another Black Ops 2 video. In this video, you'll be taking a look at the Diamond Peacekeeper in advance. I want to say sorry that this is not on one of the new DLC maps. In the upcoming few days, I will try to get a gameplay on every single DLC map with, of course, the Diamond Peacekeeper. But I'm actually going to be trying to get a gameplay with, of course, the Peacekeeper, like I said. But on every single map, I want to try and use a different class setup. Because the thing with this gun is, and that is, of course, because it is a hybrid, you can simply use any class setup that you want any class setup for that matter that works well on either the SMG such as the silencer extended mag kind of setup or you can simply use a class setup that would work well on let's say assault rifles such as the quick draw handle the reflex side simple stuff like that and you can simply use that on the peacekeeper SMG as well because of course it is a hybrid so that is why I'm going to be showing you quite a few different setups and after that I'm going to put together my personal favorite setup and that is of course going to be my best class episode for the peacekeeper itself so if you want to get a good overlook on the peacekeeper itself then I would definitely recommend you to watch all of those videos that will be coming out in the near future. Now with that said the class setup that I was using in this gameplay was more of an assault rifle type class setup. I was using the fast mags with the quick draw handle and the reflex sight. Perk 1 was ghost now that wasn't actually meant to be happening. Before I actually went in this game I didn't have enough time to simply change my class. What I would recommend you to use is either flag jacket or hardline. Now the reason why I was actually using ghost is because in the game before this I was running the fast mags, the quick draw handle and the silencer and that is more or less like an SMG kind of setup that is what I would run on let's say the MSMC the PDW so that's kind of one of those things you can easily change to go from more of a Russia type class to a more assault rifle type class or more of a conservative type class that I'm using right now my second perks are of course scavenger and toughness and then for my third perk I of course have dexterity now that perk setup is probably going to be seen in all of the class setups that I'm going to be showing you this perk setup has been seen in all of the class setups that I have been showing you so far as well you can really never go wrong scavenger of course to make sure that you don't run out of ammo toughness to make it a little bit easier to win those gunfights when somebody else is also shooting you and dexterity simply to flank around the map because of course if you know that there's a camper somewhere you shouldn't just run through the door and make sure that you get killed you should try and always flank those persons and of course dexterity is going to help you out with that with of course the wild cards per two creed and also primary gunfighter now a few things that i wanted to say about the peacekeeper because of course i have been seeing a lot of people that are using the peacekeeper wrong and those people are saying that the peacekeeper is either bad or that they don't like it I personally really like the peacekeeper because if you use it properly you can do well while using the gun so in one of my previous multiplayer videos we was I think on downhill I actually said that the peacekeeper SMG is in fact very similar to the MTAR more or less kind of like a mini MTAR and you should actually treat the gun like it is a mini MTAR so most people actually use this gun like it's an MSMC like it's a PDW and of course if you use it like that it's not going to work out very well for you because of course the peacekeeper smg has a pretty low fire rate so in close quarter situations it is not that good but when it comes to long range engagements because of course it has a low fire rate and also because it has a very low recoil pattern it is actually very well usable for those long range engagements so what i would recommend every single one of you to do is to use the peacekeeper smg such as an assault rifle i would recommend you not to use it as an smg i would simply recommend you to use it as an assault rifle so i would recommend you to go from cover to cover head glitch here and there you can of course play aggressive with this thing I'm not saying that you should be camping with this thing but just don't use it as an MSMC or a PDW because if you're going to do that you're definitely going to be disappointed by this gun but if you use it as something like the MTAR you're definitely going to have a great time with this gun now another question that I wanted to answer over the past few days people have been asking me whether I feel like that the DLC is worth buying and I have to say that the DLC is definitely worth buying I do like hydro a little bit now I don't really like downhill but the other two maps are of course great which are of course Mirage and grind in the upcoming few days like I said I will be trying to post a diamond peacekeeper gameplay on all the new DLC maps and of course I will be giving you a few tips with the peacekeeper and also a few tips on those maps as well for now I hope you enjoyed this video if you did a like rating would of course be very much appreciated if not that is of course cool as well if you have any questions regarding black ops 2 regarding the DLC the peacekeeper zombies or anything like that then simply leave it in the comments down below with that said on the screen right now is my latest this video which is of course my slick Fire building tutorial so if you haven't checked out that video yet and you're interested in watching it then simply be sure to check it out with that said i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see some of you next time take it easy I hear the freeze, 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 come out.